a little girl whose skin tears at the slightest touch has found joy on the ski slopes thanks to a thick padded jacket that protects her like cotton wool. Raquel Haltman 8, was diagnosed with Epidemolysis bullosa EB, at birth a rare genetic tissue disorder with no cure. While this might have doomed her to being inactive for her entire life, she has discovered a love of skiing thanks to having thick ski gear which keeps her protected. You can't tell how fragile she is when she's running around in the snow. She looks like any other child. Her father Ryan Haltman, a residential designer, said, We're a big skiing family and Deborah Canada helped us get a sit ski for Raquel so she can join us. There's lots of padding in that too so when she's in it she can't really move that much and we can just hit the slopes. During the winter we go at least two times a week. Sufferers are often called butterfly children as it makes the skin as fragile as the wings of a butterfly and can cause it to tear or blister as easily as tissue paper. Raquel's padded skiing gear offers layers of protection to her delicate skin, meaning she can run around in the snow and go down the slopes with her dad on her special ski sled. Raquel's snowsuit has three layers to it, so there is hardly any friction against her dressings or her skin when she's wearing it, Mr. Holtman said. Skin like tissue paper Raquel, who gets around on an electric scooter gets 99% of her nutrition through a feeding tube as her esophagus tears if she swallows anything harder than a yogurt. The schoolgirl from Vancouver, Canada took morphine for three years to ease the pain and has to have her delicate skin and wounds redressed every second day. It means Raquel's parents Mr. Haltman, 46, and Renata who's other, 47 have to protect her from injuries caused by everyday things like walking and she can't play sport. Epidemolysis bullosa EB is a general term used to describe a group of rare inherited skin disorders that cause the skin to become very fragile. In people with EB, any trauma or friction to the skin can cause painful blisters. There are three main types of EB, which are described below. The condition is classified according to where in the various layers of skin the blistering takes place. Epidemolysis bullosa simplex EBS, where blistering occurs in the upper layer of the skin, the epidermis. This is the most common type of EB, accounting for 70% of cases and tends to be milder than the other types so far. Researchers have classified 27 variants of the condition and more may be identified in the future. In most cases, symptoms of EB are obvious from birth or soon after if it's suspected your child has the condition. They'll be referred to a skin specialist dermatologist. The specialist will carry out tests to determine the type of EB and help to come up with a treatment plan. EB is caused by faulty genes. In most cases these are inherited from one or both parents but sometimes the fault occurs spontaneously. EB is a rare condition. It's estimated one in every 17,000 children born in the UK will have EB in the UK. There are currently an estimated 5,000 people living with it. There's currently no cure for EB. So treatment aims to relieve symptoms and prevent complications developing such as infection source NHS the disease, which affects 1 in 20,000 children in the U.S. can sometimes be frustrating for Rock, who is accompanied to school in Brooks Bank Elementary every day by her nurse. However Ryan, his wife, HR manager Inata, and their 12-year-old daughter Cordelia have worked hard to find a routine that works for Raquel and their family. The couple found huge support in Deborah Canada, an organization which fundraises to help improve the lives of children and families living with EB. Last year we had a really bad period where Raquel was just really frustrated. She would cry almost every day and say, Mom and Dad, I don't want to have EB. It can be really tough to find the routine that works for your family with EB and for the first couple years. She was in so much pain she would need morphine every other day. We found a routine that works really well for her. So things have improved a lot throughout the last few years. She's a firecracker. She's so adventurous generally she's such a positive little girl. She's a firecracker. She's so adventurous and fun loving. She is a real artist too. She loves painting. Brian said it has been inspiring to see Raquel's friendship blossom with her next-door neighbor Jacob Taylor, 11, who regularly accompanies her on the slopes. Raquel's friendship with Jacob has been so special to watch. The other day when she was getting her dressings done, she was in a lot of pain and he just put his hands on her shoulders and told her to breathe through it. 
and he did. They're always just chit-chatting and having fun and he loves to come skiing with us. It's such a special relationship and really special to see too. Tell me where the freaks at.